Welcome back, y'all. Another week of adventuring with me. Let's go. Today we are checking out Fort Columbia State Park. I don't know how well you can see that with the sun, but I hope you can. Fort Columbia. We are here in Washington. Basically, it's across the river from Fort Stevens, which is like right over there somewhere. Um, so it's yeah, basically gonna be the Fort Stevens version in Washington. So, Fort Columbia, let's go check it out! Woo woo! I brought my flashlight today. Let's see if we can get into some trouble. This used to be the dance hall where people would go to get their jig on. Meet some people and get down, if you know what I mean. Wow. All right. Hey, hey. So, I'm not sure who has caught on already, but I've slowly been doing all the forts that protected the entrance to the Columbia River back in the day. So my very first adventure was Fort Stevens that protected the southern side of the river on the Oregon side. My second one was Cape Disappointment or Fort Canby on the north side uh, of the river. And the third one is gonna be Fort Columbia, just a little bit inland in Washington. So it kind of makes this triangle of protection around the mouth of the river, which is super fascinating. And now we've hit them all. Woo. Why do I do this to myself? Okay. Why? All right, here we go, guys.
looks like some sort of torture device, if you ask me. Woof. Thanks. Oh. We're alive. Everything's fine. Yeah. Woof, it's a big door. Right? Gorgeous. Just like you. Well, every, every single building that people lived in look exactly the same. All right, y'all, that's gonna put a wrap on Fort Columbia. Very, very similar to Fort Stevens, but on the Washington side. So the Washington version of Fort Stevens, Fort Columbia. Very historic, cool place to visit. And yeah, happy Friday, guys. Hope y'all have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye.